An Atterjack toad can easily be mistaken for the common frog, but its legs are much shorter and stumpier. I don't see any difference, Fab. They're just frogs, aren't they? They're telling you what the difference is, Frankie. Like all toads, the Natterjack prefers walking and crawling, whereas frogs prefer hopping. So they're just lazy frogs, then? Frankie, you can't say that! The Natterjack toad gets its name because of the distinctive chattering sound the male makes during mating season. Its name literally means the jack, or toad, that natters. That sounds just like you and me, Red. Natter, natter, natter. We just never stop. Will you shush? I'm trying to hear the TV. Well, sorry. <sighs> I didn't realize you were too busy to talk to your old buddy here. I guess I'll just have to call my other best friend, Blue Squirrel. Beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, boop, boop. Hey, Blue, what you doing, old buddy, old pal? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Me too! I'm watching it right now. I know, we are totally like them. Natter, 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 natter. <laughs> Who's Blue Squirrel, Gray? Oh. oh, no, 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 there's nobody else here. Just me talking to my best buddy. That's you! <laughs> but I thought we were best buddies. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Of course I would love to come toad spotting with you. Oh, I'm sorry I told you to shush, Gray. I was rude and I made a mistake. Thanks, Red. Apology accepted. But what about Blue? <laughs> there is no Blue. <laughs> Come on, you really think I've got other friends? This isn't even a real phone. So you mean you made the whole thing up? Red, sometimes you just gotta get creative to show your buddy what's important. Ah, thanks, buddy. Wanna go toad spotting later? Of course I do! The body of the Natterjack toad is covered in warts that are filled with strong poisons. These act as a deterrent to any would-be predators and protect the toad from being eaten. Did you hear about the badger who loved eating toads? How did he like them? Big and small. And how did he eat them? Warts and all. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, though. The warts are poisonous, aren't they? Oh, they are, yeah. He, he was fair sick now that I think about it. He was in an awful state. I would not recommend eating a toad, Bina. When threatened, the Natterjack toad also has the ability to puff itself up to appear bigger than it actually is. Mm -mm. If I was a toad, nobody would mess with me. Hey, Plop, check out my guns. I've been working out. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, you're so strong, Fleabag. Are you talking to me? Huh? Are you talking to me? The Natterjack toad is a nocturnal species and comes out of its burrow at night to feed on beetles, ants, woodlice, worms, moths, spiders, and other invertebrates. Ah, oh, would you look at that? A big, juicy, creepy crawly crawling along the frog's head. Daddy! It's not a frog. It's a toad. Yeah, Daddy. How many times do they have to tell you? During the winter months when food is scarce, the Natterjack hibernates inside its burrow. So you're telling me that toads and frogs are completely different? Yes! And what about horses and donkeys? They're the same thing, aren't they? Nope. Ducks and geese? Nope, they're different too. Snakes and lizards? Very, very different. Ah, oh, I think I need a little lie down. You have a little rest, Frankie, love. It's a lot of information to take in. You know, from a kid's show. <laughs>